In the heart of London, there's a young man passionate about one sport. It's a game that's little known, even here in its country of origin. Fives is a game that just grabs you. I love the fact that you have to use both hands and be ambidextrous. To the speed of the game, the unpredictability from the ledges, and the fact that you have to react so quickly. The fact that so many different people can play the game. It's open and accessible to everybody. Traditionally, Fives has been associated with some of the most exclusive schools in the country, and certainly not the inner cities. But James Toop, the national champion and one of the best players on the planet, wants to change all that. He hopes what's happening here will eventually help bounce Eton Fives closer towards the sporting mainstream. The Westway Sports Centre is close to London's fashionable Notting Hill district, but this neighbourhood is unlikely to feature in many Hollywood movies. The surrounding tower blocks and passing traffic don't suggest glamour or privilege. It's not exactly the place you might expect to find Eton Fives courts. But after building four courts on site, the centre is pioneering a Fives project with the aim of bringing the game to young people who otherwise would never be exposed to it. And their exposure begins with the basics of the sport. Eton Fives takes place on a very unusual three-sided court. On the left-hand side, there's a shoulder-high projection called the buttress. At the bottom of this, there's a small space called the dead man's hole, which makes a natural target for players trying to kill a rally. The walls have sloping edges, and the court is divided by a step into an upper and lower playing area. With so many unpredictable surfaces, Eton Fives is only played as a doubles game. Games start with a serve, but unlike in tennis where service offers a distinct advantage, in Fives it acts as an invitation to smash it back. The service return is known as the cut. The ball is made of rubber and cork, and without the protective gloves it would be painful to hit. A point can only be scored by the team serving. Should they lose the point, their opponents take the serve. Matches are typically played as best of five sets, with sets played to 12 points. Given the nature of the court, unpredictability is at the very heart of this sport, and Eton Fives is known as a game of hazards. The ball can fly in, in lots of different directions, from, uh, from hitting the ledges, hitting the buttress, and it basically means you've got to be quite philosophical about the game, because a good shot can suddenly turn into a, a losing shot, and, and similarly, uh, if your opponent plays a losing shot, it can completely turn the other way and, and defeat you. So um, it, it teaches you to be quite philosophical about the game and, and just accept the things that happen on the court. At first glance, the game and its rules might seem bewildering, but these youngsters have taken to fives remarkably quickly. I don't know, there's something about it that's so interesting what makes you want to play, but when, when you come down here and you start playing, it is really good. Like, when I go to my school and, and they ask me, like, what, what did you do on Saturday? And I said, well, I went down to play fives. And they said, well, what's that? And I was like, I just tell them what it's basically about and stuff. And, then, and they say, well, that looks like kind of a good sport. You don't know where the person you're facing is going to hit it. They could hit it far back and you'll have to run a lot. Well, they just um, hit it quite close to the wall. So it's a bit of a, predic a prediction game. Though it might resemble some racket sports, such as squash, it has one key advantage for youngsters, as David Mew, the Westway Fives manager, explains. Fives forces and obviously encourages people to use both sides of their body. After 14 years of playing, most people I play against these days can't actually distinguish which hand is my stronger hand until they ask me. The more you play, the more your weaker side, be it your left or your right, improves. And in the end, overall, your entire body coordination is very balanced. But if Fives has so much in its favor, why is it so obscure today? Part of the answer may lie in its origins. I think it was about the Victorian times when they started playing it. And it used to be in churches, that's where they have the buttress. And that's about all I know so far. So, to educate Dan and others, here's an abbreviated history. 
Although handball games have been developed independently across the world, this one originated at Eton College, England's most famous private school. Founded in the 15th century, it boasts wonderful examples of Gothic architecture, including the stunning chapel. Centuries ago, outside the chapel, schoolboys began playing a ball game to keep themselves entertained that eventually became known as Eton Fives. It's the specific idiosyncrasies of this one section of the exterior that give Eton Five courts across the world their unique layout. The school built its first dedicated courts in 1840, and the game is still popular at Eton. It has spread, but principally only to a small number of other wealthy traditional schools. And that's been a problem for the sport in terms of mass appeal, a perceived association with a social elite. Yet fans of Fives believe it has much to offer everyone. The area needed for courts is relatively small, and once constructed, running costs are low. The equipment needed is minimal. The concepts of play are intuitive, so players improve relatively quickly. At even the highest levels of competition, referees are not used, which fosters a sense of sportsmanship. Back at the Westway, there are signs Fives is gradually getting noticed. Several local schools have started including Fives within their curriculum, and it's hoped the Westway model will be copied elsewhere in the country. If that happens, James Toop and the other enthusiasts think Fives could hit the mark with a whole new generation.